So as you can see, it's in the upper position now. Um, it is a little bit wobbly. If I was to give it a wobble from side to side, it's got a little bit of wobble to it. And that's just purely because there's no cross brace in this section here. Um, once that's put in, like I've got one on that side and this side fairly rigid. It's just the other side that hasn't got one. So I'll have to put that in. That's one thing that I'm gonna do. The wheels, I was going to use the holes that I accidentally pre-drilled for this upright. I was gonna use those wheels, but, uh, sorry, those holes for those wheels, but unfortunately this comes down and interferes. So um, I might just drill another couple of holes a bit further back. Uh, it won't really matter too much where the wheels are. Um, but yeah, I figured I would try and use the holes if I can, but I just can't do it unless I was to step them in further. Um, so unless I was to bring them in away from this these arms, but doing that is bringing the stance of the machine closer together. It's not that much, but for stability wise, I just want those wheels out as far as I can. Um, so yeah, I'll just drill another couple of holes, nice and easy. I'm not really worried about the holes. Like I said, it's not, it's not meant to look pretty. It's meant to be functional. Another thing that I did was, as you can see, these sit out a little bit high, a little bit proud of the top. So I'm just going to trim those while it's in its highest position. I'll just trim them and then cap them, weld them. Then that way they won't interfere with the lid when I put the top on it. I'm not sure what I'm going to use, probably a bit of steel. Um, and yeah, so what I've done here is I've just put a piece of the same stuff there on that jack. As you can see, that jack is, I've just used that one leg. I've disconnected this leg from it because it's not, not needed. And this just sort of, this piece here is, uh, it's just attached. It's just what pushes it up and down. I could remove that, but I'm fine just leaving it there. Just one other thing that I thought I'd mention is if you have a look here, how it doesn't overhang, how this doesn't sit out further than the top. I've made the top so that it actually sits out further. That's why I made that top and the other side. That's why I made them uh, the way they are so that I don't have something that's going to be frustrating when I'm walking around it that I can't get close enough with my feet or end up trying to almost trip over it. For the wheels, I've just chopped um, two of these, they're 60 mil long and I've measured so that the wheels sit pretty much on the corners there and this is just going to go welded to this part here um, straight in there like that and then the bolt's obviously going to go through and hold those wheels up. Another thing I've done is I've cut this piece which is going to be the cross member to sit just in there. Where this wheel has to sit here, the bolt's going to go through it, and this is going to basically be welded across here. Um, the thing is that it's going to be very hard to get a weld in there once that's all put together. So I can still do it, but it's just much easier to do now while it's apart before I actually weld that tab on. So I'll get into that now. So at this stage I've completely welded it all out, um, it's all pretty much ready to go. I have also end capped everything and ground those down. So the next stage is I'm going to be making the rest where I let the jack down when it's in its almost completely up position, just shy of it being up. This little bit of timber here is going to be the rest 
Um, obviously, I'm not going to use timber. I'm just using this as a template to get an idea on how long it needs to be. But it's going to be resting off this piece here. Um, and it's going to be fixed to that piece up there. And it's going to be on like um, a bolt with a bracket to hold it up there so it can pivot. And I'll show you what it's basically going to do. So as that timber goes up with the frame, because that frame there is going to start lifting, as it comes up on this piece of timber here, I'm going to have maybe three different notches or three pieces of angle welded to it. So therefore, it'll grab that lower bit of frame each time it steps up um, for a couple of reasons. One, it'll stop it falling down if something was to go wrong with the jack at any point. Um, at any stage, it'll grab. And also, once I have pretty much put it in the position I want to work it at, at one of those three positions, then I will lower it down onto that and it will stay there so that the jack doesn't have any tension on it. What I'm doing here is the swing arm. I'm just going to put these two little brackets on the end that hold the bolt at the very top. And I think overall the height is about, it's a little bit under but it doesn't matter. It's about two of those so if I lift that up, put those on there, it's going to be even in the middle. That'll give me a weld in there and on the other side and on the back and not necessarily put one here but I may actually, but to hold all that together, I'll just throw a bolt in it for now. At least get a tack weld on it for now and then weld it out later. What I'm doing here is I'm just going to put a few tack welds in there just to hold it in place. I'm not going to fully weld it out just yet, I'm going to pre-fit it. Uh, make sure everything works and then weld it out. And another thing is, just for good measure, is always to try and grind off the galvanizing if you can. You'll get a much better weld. Um, and yeah, it just makes things a little bit easier. Seems to work pretty good. Um, probably don't need so much of an angle on this one here because it hits the ground as it goes up, but it's there, so it looks uniform and it works. I had originally planned to paint it all white, but I had more cans of black than I did of white, so I started with white, and you get a better coverage with black anyway, so. Black it is. So late last night, I pretty much finished off the paint. Um, it's all painted now and looking magic. It's all assembled. So the top is on, um, it's nowhere near finished. I'm just going to go along and paint the edges black um, and also I have to make a ramp for it at that end that just comes on and off, uh, something that just clips onto the end I think I'm going to do and also the front wheel chock. Stay. 